Hmm. What does Supercell have for us today? Oh, look. Another update. I hope it's better than the last one. Because we all love that you take away half of the population of the bases out there. Village Guard and Personal Breaks? What the hell is this? Personal Breaks? What is this, work now? Great. Now Supercell has us all working for them. I knew this would happen. I wonder how much I'll get paid, though. Are they going to pay me in gems? Oh, I actually wouldn't mind that. Sweet. Let's go to work. What's up, Clash Bros? Welcome back to part two of the new updates that Supercell has released. Giving us some more sneak peeks into the brand new Town Hall 11 update. And all I got to say is all this mumbo jumbo that's going on. All we want to know is what new troops coming out, what new hero, what new defenses, and everything about Town Hall 11. Stop giving us this mumbo jumbo starting this off. But they're giving us two more sneak peeks today. Village Guard and Personal Breaks. And I want to kind of go into this. It took me a couple times of reading this to truly understand, or I think I truly understand it now. I could be totally off still. But let's go ahead and get into this. Two different things. Village Guard and Personal Breaks. They're both two kind of... The Personal Breaks isn't a new idea, but let's just get into it. Village Guard, Online Time Support. Village Guard is a new short-term way to prevent attacks on your village while your shield is down. While Village Guard is active, your village acts as if you are online, even if you close the game or disconnect. Players can freely attack through Village Guard with no penalty. That's huge. Free Village Guard time activates automatically when shields expire, from 15 minutes to 3 hours long based on your league. So... Basically, at extending your shield because you know exactly what time your shield ends. I don't know. Two hours of extra village guard can be bought for 10 gems every day in the shop when your shield is down. 23 hour cooldown. Active village guard can be dismissed at any time. Buying a shield from the shop will dismiss active village guard. So if you have a village guard of uh, three hours and you go out and buy a day shield, it will discard your village guard and you'll just have the 24-hour shield instead of having a 27-hour shield or 24-hour shield and, you know, three-hour village guard. All right. So what I'm going to try to... All right. I'll, I'll, I'll read a couple of the first sentences. Think of the village guard like giving your device to your little brother, brother to keep you online, except the village guard won't embarrass you in clan chat and spend all your gems. Even if you need to step away from your device for a small period of time, the village guard stands ready to watch over things until you get back, even if you close the game. This is huge. I just want to talk over this real quick. This is huge for a couple of reasons. One, when you're, you know, we all watch a movie, watch a TV series, doing something else while we're playing Clash and attacking. So sometimes we get caught up in something and then we look back on our phone and the time has expired and it says anybody there. Um, and you have to click yes. And by the time you come back, you've been attacked already. And that's upsetting. Cause then that take, like when I was pushing the champions league, that one little mistake cost me an hour or two worth of time. That was upsetting. And a person like me, you know, if I need to step away and, uh, go to the bathroom, go take a shower, change my daughter's diaper, help out, you know, around the house real quick. I can buy a two hour shield and that will, free up that two hours for me to go and do something else while still attacking and playing around. Um, and that that's awesome. I think that's great. It, it, it helps for unwanted and unnecessary attacks on your bases when that you never wanted any of that. You wanted to be on clash, but you made a mistake and it costs you an hour or two of gameplay. So for trophy pushing, this is really good for farming bases. It once again, keeps that out of the game. All right, now the personal break system. A player is forced offline for six minutes after three hours of cumulative online time or village guard time without shield. This personal break three hour limit is only reset after getting a shield or in some special cases covered below. Buying the two hour village guard from the shop will extend a player's current break three hour limit to by two hours. The personal break three hour limit for online players is paused during service maintenance, but not reset. All right. 
So let me read it. Let me kind of tell you guys about the personal break a little bit. So it's kind of like everything else. Take a break from the game. Go do something else for a little bit. There's two different options, though. Six minutes that you have to wait. And if you don't get attacked in those six minutes, you can come back on and get right back into it. Second way for the personal break to end is you get off and you get attacked immediately, say for 45 seconds. And that guy gives you a shield. So 30, if that guy does 30% or more, then you are able to go back online and start your three hour limit all over again. The only time it doesn't is if the guy attacks you and doesn't get any more than 29%, gets 29% or lower, then it only adds 15 minutes to your to your uh, personal break time. So you only can get on for another 15 minutes and then you have to get right back off. Um, so the personal break system, there's two ways, either six minutes or get attacked for 30% or more. That's the only two ways to break the personal break time. All right. Now let's go over here, and if you don't understand the Village Guard compared to the Shield, they have a breakdown right here. Village Guard, short period, 15 minutes to 3 hours. Attack anytime with no penalty. Get free Village Guard automatically when Shield expires. Um, 15 minutes for everything champion and below. Free Village Guard time improves with League. So up to uh, Titan 1 and Legends League, you get a 3 hour Village Guard when your Shield expires. So that means if you get a max of a 16-hour shield and then 3-hour village guard, that's 19 hours that somebody's not online. I'll get into that a little bit in a little bit later. All right. Extend time available for 10 gems in the shop every day, every 23 hours. Only available to buy when shield is down. Always counts towards personal break timer. So you can extend your personal break timer if you buy one of the village guard shields. Seems like right now two hours is the longest you can buy. So if your personal break time is at three hours and you buy a two hour village guard, you can extend your personal break to five hours, giving you a little bit longer to play. So that's the village guard. It's um, not to replace the shield, but to extend the shield. Um, now the shield, long period, 12 hours minimum to seven days which is a weak shield that you can buy in the shop. Attack anytime, but it costs some shield time. So unlike the village guard where you can attack during your, so if you buy um, two hours in the shop for 10 gems, you can attack for two hours without being attacked back. So it's like having a shield, but you can attack through it. But with the new shield, it won't completely dis, so say you get attacked and you got 16 hours left until your shield expires. Instead of taking away the full 16 hours, we went through it yesterday. It will get rid of three hours for the first time you attack, four hours the next time you attack, and five hours the next time you attack. So with those three attacks, that's 12 hours. It will take off your 16-hour shield, um, and it keeps going up from there. So you can actually get three attacks in um, with your 16-hour uh, shield without losing your shield. Get free shield automatically after defending, Free shield time is the same for all players, no matter what league you're in. Extra time available for 100 gems in the shop every few days, 100 gems plus, can be bought at any time, and it never counts towards your personal break timer. So, um, there, there it is, you guys. Um, so, the personal break is uh, shortened down, but yet you can extend it if you want to spend. It's a way to spend more gems and to... Uh, you know, add more revenue into the game, but yet, you know, it helps the players out by not getting attacked. But yet, for champion and below, it's only 15 minutes, and yet it raises by 45 minutes, then an hour, and then another hour. But the other, what, 12 leagues get a 15 minute shield? I don't like that. So, every majority of people are in champions or lower, and they only get a 15 minute shield. And you can buy another shield, a two-hour shield for 10 gems. So it's another way to add revenue to the game, but it does help the player. What I think yesterday, they're trying to get more people attacking, more people to not be in a farming base, to be sitting on shields all the time. So, you know, I'm on a farming base. Who's not going to attack me and take out my free town hall and give me a free 12-hour shield so that way I don't get attacked again? So that's what they want to do yesterday is get people to attack more get people to where attacking is a main way to gain loot gain trophies it's the best way to play the game but then today 
They want to go ahead and give you a village guard up to five hours. Maximum shield time for 90% destruction or more is 16 hours. And then you can go out, if you're in uh, Titans 1 or Legends League, go ahead and get a three-hour shield on top of that, so that's 19 hours. Plus, you can go and spend 10 gems and add yourself an extra two hours, so that takes people out, out of the game for 21 hours. Now, people are already complaining up in that high league that there's nobody to attack. And now instead you're giving them a 21-hour shield? They're only able to be attacked three hours out of the day and they can buy that village guard every day? So basically, only three hours out of the day people are allowed to be attacked up in Titans 1 and above. Tell me that's not going to hurt them up there. That doesn't make any sense. So goodbye, Titans and Legend League. You know, I want to conserve my opinion right now, but it, it, from what I'm looking at, it, it's only going to hurt, you know, the higher up people, and they're not going to want to stay up in that because it's going to make it even longer search times. Let me know how you guys feel about this Village Garden personal break. Um, I, I don't know about this. I'm going to save any more of my judgment till more of this comes out. But from yesterday's update to today's update, they're contradicting each other. Attack more, but yet you're not going to be able to be attacked more. Doesn't make sense. So they want people to go out and attack, but yet there's going to be less people to attack. Let me know how you guys feel about this. Am I interpreting this wrong? Let me know your guys' feelings. No stinky pinky in today's video. I'll hopefully get another video out today that will have the stinky pinky. I am leaving on my vacation tomorrow, so I'm trying to get a bunch of videos done and ready to go so that way you guys have some videos to watch while i'm gone hopefully you guys have a great day and don't forget my clash bros go pittsburgh steelers i'm going to the game yeah and don't forget to stay beautiful